Microsoft this week added two excellent backwards compatible Xbox 360 games which are now available on Xbox One, but there's plenty more on the way. Getty Xbox One backwards compatibility update two new games, more Xbox 360 bonuses on the way Microsoft added two pretty awesome titles to their ever-expanding Xbox One backwards compatibility library this week after Major Nelson announced that they were finally ready for Xbox One users. In 2016 games like Red Dead Redemption, the Bioshock Trilogy, the Mass Effect Trilogy, and the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion were added. While in 2017 the biggest release so far has undoubtedly been Call of Duty Black Ops 2. But now Microsoft's Xbox One users can go back and enjoy Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Dreamcast launch title Sonic Adventure. Unfortunately, there's still no word on Fable Anniversary currently, one of the most requested backwards compatible games which Xbox boss Phil Spencer last week confirmed was being worked on. However, fans can at least look forward to downloading two more free backwards compatible games after October's Games with Gold 2017 titles were announced. From today until October 15, Xbox Live subscribers can download Rayman 3 HD, and from October 16 31 they'll then be able to download Medal of Honor Airborne. Xbox Game Pass subscribers can also enjoy the backwards compatible Street Fighter IV, which is joining the service in October. Take a look at some of the best Xbox One backwards compatible games, below Xbox One backward compatibility allows users to play their favorite Xbox 360 games on the Xbox One. DS Xbox One backwards compatible list like Fable Anniversary, there's unfortunately, there's been no further word on those leaked original Xbox backwards compatible games that were spotted on the GameSpot website some weeks back. It's possible that these may have been old listings for games which were backwards compatible on his Xbox 360 as opposed to new backwards compatible games coming to Xbox One. Included in the list of leaked games from GameSpot were Ninja Gaiden Black and Ninja Gaiden, The Punisher, Mortal Kombat Deception, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Doom 3. Hopefully, these are just a handful of the games players can expect to see being made available once again on the Xbox One, however, even if this does turn out to be a false lead, it does offer up an interesting proposition. In total, 478 original Xbox games were made available on the Xbox 360 via backwards compatibility and you would think that the vast majority of these could come to Xbox One, assuming there's no legal reason to prevent them. Currently, Crimson Skies and Fusey and Frenzy are the only Xbox games with confirmed backwards compatibility support, but there are also two which were made backwards compatible on Xbox 360. This would form part of the announcement made by Microsoft at A3 2017, when Xbox boss Phil Spencer announced that original Xbox games were finally coming to the Xbox One backwards compatibility service, something he had been teasing for quite some tea speaking to Giant Bomb immediately after the E3 announcement Phil Spencer said that the lineup of original Xbox games won't be as big as Xbox 360, which is supposedly related to music rights in some games. Equally, Spencer has also said that some key features that won't work when playing these original Xbox games. Most OG Xbox games didn't have widescreen, Spencer said when asked on Twitter. Can't really easily change the frame buffer aspect ratio on a shipped game from backwards compatibility. We run the OG code, so the game will support what the original game supported, Spencer explained in a follow up tweet. Likewise, new Xbox Live achievements won't be coming either, since according to Spencer, doing so would require patching every game, which is never going to happen. In more positive news for anyone who may have missed the recent announcement, Microsoft has approved Hyperkin's remake of the old-school original Xbox controller known as the Duke which means the creators can now begin the next phase of production before the device launches for Xbox One and PC users. The remake Duke was debuted at E3 in June to much fanfare, and ironically one of the men responsible for the project is none other than Seamus Blackley, one of the original creators for the Xbox released in 2001. Microsoft has been helping Hyperkin, who are primarily a peripheral manufacturer, in order to bring back the classic controller and last night Blackley made a big announcement. New Duke has gone to tooling and is approved by Xbox. This is happening, tweeted Blacklight. New controller still doesn't have a release date or price, but Microsoft and Hyperkin will hopefully be looking to ship the product at some point this year, in line with Microsoft's promise to launch backwards compatibility for original Xbox games.
related articles.